So this is what I'm wearing to my morning, to my date. Whew, okay. I hope he doesn't think I have too much makeup on. Kind of took me forever to do this face. Looks beat. Beat, honey. Oh, take my bed. Maybe I should just brush my teeth just one more time. Oof. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. And I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it. Don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Because me, me, moi, I am not a professional. I am not a professional at all. This is not professional advice, honey. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, today's question comes from a little lady who sent me her question on Instagram. Here are the details if you want to send yours. And she said that she watched my other previous video where I spoke about how to hit on a man, you know, how to get your crush to ask you out. Video over here if you want to see it. And guess what? She's got her first date with him. <laughs> yes. 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 Well done, honey. Well done. You got your crush to ask you out on a first date. Yes. So today, I'm going to give her eight things she needs to think about when she goes on her date because she's like oh, i got a date with the guy but now what what do i do how do i prepare for this first date so we're still going love crazy for the month of february so i'm going to give you some tips and tricks and things to think about if you're going on a date with your valentine on valentine's day number one calm down honey please calm down honey's Bring down the air. Hmm? Bring it down. It's fine. You'll be fine. This is not a marriage interview. It's not. It's not. Don't put so much stress on it. Don't put so much stress on yourself. Don't put so much stress on the guy. It's just a date, babes. It's just a date. Have fun. Just say to yourself, you know what? This is a great way for me to spend time. It's a great way for me to get to know a new person. Let me go and enjoy myself, enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks. This is not a marriage interview. It is just a date. It is a preview of what could potentially be a relationship. Before you even get to marriage, girl, it's just a date. Number two, try your very best. Your very, very best. This is the only thing you should be thinking about. The only thing you should be trying to do. The only thing that you should be trying to get out of this date is to laugh a lot and have a lot of fun. Now, if you've gotten to the point where you're getting onto a date, right? It means that there's some sort of vibe that you guys have, right? So now you guys are at a date and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I need to make sure I know his five-year plans, his 10-year plans, he's got any goals in life, all of those things that we think we're supposed to get on the first date. And that's good and that's great. If you're going to date someone, you should want to date somebody who's got some plans in life, some goals in life, you know? But your number one concern, your number one priority is to enjoy yourself. Make it a point to laugh a lot and to have fun. Giving off that energy of laughing a lot and having fun. Number one, if you laugh at a guy a lot, he's gonna feel like he's Superman. He's going to feel like he's the best guy on earth. He's honestly going to, it's going to boost his ego so much if you just laugh, girl. Laugh, 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 laugh. It gives a person such a big boost when they are able to make you laugh and cause you joy, okay? Then the second is to enjoy yourself. Just have fun. Just, you know, be willing to try things, be open-minded, look at the restaurant where you guys are going, have an open mind to try new things and have fun on the date. Number three is your second concern. After laughing and having fun, the next thing you should be worried about is, do we have an emotional connection? Do I like what this guy's talking about? Do I agree with what he's saying? Or is there nice, healthy banter between the two of us? 
if you don't agree with everything that he says, is there a nice conversation, a back and forth that goes on and on? It's like, nah, yeah, no, I think the sharks are great, eh? and you're just like, the sharks? You're a sharks fan? Oh, shame, 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 shame. Must be difficult for you, hey? It's okay. That's how it is. You don't have to agree with everything he says, but there must be a nice flow of conversation. That's how you start to see some sort of emotional attraction and emotional connection. Can you? meet at the same point in terms of your humor can you flow in terms of the conversation when he says something can you respond when you say something can he respond are you finding each other interesting those are things that you're looking for on the first date a connection emotionally do you meet at the same level in terms of your values but this is all going on with you enjoying yourself laughing and trying new things number four pick a struggle honey just one, only one struggle. When it comes to getting dressed for the date, we want to look good, but also we don't want to be a distraction, right? Because if you become a distraction, the only thing the man is gonna be thinking of is, can I touch those boobs? Can I touch the boobs? I can't touch the boobs, but the boobs are looking at me. The boobs are saying, squeeze me. So what do I mean by pick a struggle? A struggle is basically what you are showing and accentuating in your outfit. And when you pick only one struggle, it means that I'm going for boobs, so I'm going to keep the length a bit better, and maybe I'll make it a bit flowy. I'm going for body, so I'm going to make it a little long, and this is a good one if you're going for body, right? I'm going for nice tight booty, so I'm gonna wear something that is high waist. You know, picking one struggle. The back is a struggle, the boobs is a struggle, the legs are a struggle, and the hips, darling, sometimes you really can't hide those things, so they just happen to come out, so we're not gonna call that a struggle. It's just about picking one thing to put out there. The reason why is that if you put, pick everything, backless, cleavage, short dress, then the man is going to be distracted by everything else. There's, there's basically two main types of attraction that we're trying to get out of this first date, which is emotional and physical attraction. Now, if you put everything out there in the first date, then he's only going to be thinking about the physical attraction and he's going to ignore the emotional attraction. But if you have a nice balance, we have a little hint of something, then you can focus on the emotional attraction because once you have a good balance between the two, those are the good building blocks of a good relationship. Number five, don't play hard to get, but also do play hard to get. It's a balance. A person is like an onion and you peel back the different layers and each layer comes with its own struggle and its own difficulties you know but you get down to something that is really nice the closer you get to the center so with a person there was a struggle nyana that he went through to get you on a date that just shows that you're interested in him so don't all of a sudden retract and just be like this on the date because you're trying to play hard to get so you're not gonna laugh and you're gonna make it difficult for him You've already shown that you're interested in him by going on the date. Give him the interest, let him keep the interest, stay interested in him and so that he can stay interested in you, okay? He's already gotten to level one, that's good. The next level is vulnerability. Getting a little deeper with the details in terms of what it is that goes on with your life and secret information and valuable information that's only told to valuable people. You see, he has to still work his way up there. He hasn't proven himself to be that guy yet. So you can't just be telling him about all of your daddy issues yet. You can't be telling him about how you got fired. None of that stuff just yet. Because he's still gotta peel back that layer. He's got your interest. You guys can talk. You're sharing interests with each other, that's good. Don't make it difficult for him to keep your interest. Hand it over, it's okay. But from a vulnerability point of view, he's still gotta work for that one. Then there's the ultimate third layer, which is intimacy. Emotional and physical intimacy. Now this is the one where you play the hardest to get. You can't just give it to everybody, boo. 
You see, the thing about going on a first date is that you do want to give him something to look forward to on the next date. That's why you give him your interest, you show you're interested, give him something to be interested in, but show him that he's still got to put in a bit of work to get to the other levels with you. You gotta give him something, a trailer of what's to come, a taste of the relationship so that he comes back, works a little harder to try and get deeper with you. And this just leads to number six, be genuinely interested in the guy. What does it mean to be genuinely interested in the guy? It means that you listen and you inquire about things that he is interested in. So you want to know a few things about him so you're going to ask questions we're not interrogating the guy but we're genuinely interested we're not tick boxing we're not like okay so what do you want to do in five years okay tick where do you work okay tick do you have a car tick what type of bracket are you in financially that that's not what we're trying to do here we're just trying to be interested in a person so we really want to try and find out it's like oh, okay have you been to this bar often do you go out a lot with your friends ah oh, that seems cool so what type of things are you guys into that is interest genuinely interested in a person listening to what they have to say inquiring about them and their lives find out about him be interested in finding out more about what he does who he is and what he's up to trying to understand the fella and number seven is how you're going to keep the interest flowing now a good way to stay interested and to keep the conversation going is to return the favor every time he asks you a question so how is your day how have things been going you return the question how is your day how have things been going for you he asks you so what do you like to do on saturdays no nah, i just like to chill with my friends if i'm not chilling with my friends i've got a side hobby and a side business that i'm into what do you do on saturdays do you also have a side hustle hobby of any sort return the favor when a man starts to compliment you beyond the way you look start looking for ways that you can also pick up on things beyond the physical especially when the date starts to go a little further when you compliment a person it means that i see you i notice this thing on you and i think i like it mm. that's when you can feed into the compliments so when he says something about the fact that he loves formula one and he'd really love to follow the formula one you're just like ah it's nice that you like other sports other than soccer and rugby you know the basic soccer and rugby it's nice it's something that you've noticed it's complimenting him and saying that you know you like sports that other people don't usually like it's quite an interesting thing what other sports are you into nice so the conversation keeps rolling because you're returning the favor you're returning the compliments and you're returning the questions and that's how you make sure the conversation keeps flowing it is natural that you are going to find out things about his plans for the future how he feels how his relationship is with his mama you know we've all read the book or we've heard about what steve harvey says we get into those conversations but start nice and light get into getting to know him peeling back those layers finding out about the person and his life and number eight is the best tip of them all when we go on a first date we're just like oh i hope he likes me and we're always trying to make sure that we do things that make him like us even more but don't worry about that don't even think about that don't even think about what can i do to make him like me more no think about it this way imagine you're the one taking him out on a date and you want to make sure he enjoys himself. Instead of thinking about you, how am I looking? How am I feeling? I hope I make him laugh. I hope he likes me. Turn it around. How's he doing? Is he enjoying my, himself? You know, things like that. You want to make sure that he enjoys his date. So it makes him feel like you took him out. Stop thinking about yourself, boo. Think about the other person too. Maybe he's just as nervous as you are. Take away the stress of saying, oh, I need to make sure that he likes me. No, just make sure that you're both enjoying yourself, that he's enjoying himself too. Take ownership of the date, girl. The man made the time and the energy and the effort to take you out, so you are worth it. Enjoy yourself and make sure that he enjoys you 
too. All right, that's it. That's all I have for you today on how to prepare for your next first date. Don't worry about it, honey. He made the time, he made the effort to take you out. You are the prize, honey. Make sure that you enjoy yourself and make sure that he enjoys you too. Take away the stress. You don't have to make him like you. Clearly there's something that you did right to go on this date. So have a ball, darling. Enjoy yourself. That's it. That's all I have for you today. I'm Kupana Shmang and this is How I Do Things. gorgeous thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it right until the end now if you have not subscribed please click on this button to subscribe and feel free to binge watch because i do not judge i actually love you for it head over to my website www.kopanashimangi.com to find out more about my journal her daily success journal and how you can get your hands on it no matter where you are in the world i'll get it to you until next time Mwah.